90s Drop began in June of 2007. Um, it was originally a four piece, just me, Arturo, Jordan, and Chris. <laughs> And luckily, uh, Arturo, me and Arturo were friends at the time, and uh, he just started playing too, and he learned like uh, he knew very simple stuff. My lyrics are kind of just a freestyle of feeling, and it's, it's just almost spontaneous when I write it. It's just like I hear the music, and that's that's almost my process when I'm writing. Usually, it's like when the when the band is kind of just jamming out and trying to try something new. They, they play something and I just hear it and it just makes me feel of something and I'm just like, this feels like this. And then that's when I start writing. And then once everything's done, I'm usually the final piece. Like people come, they, they come to me and they say, alright Chris, what do you think about this? And I'm like, okay, this sounds good. Um, this sounds good, I don't like crazy about this. And then I put my input in terms of like, all the music I've ever listened to and I usually just how I feel with the drums. But I mean, now that I'm just vocals, like I'm, that's it. You know, I'm I'm in the crowd. I'm I'm in the front stage and center, and I'm there, and it's 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 awesome. It's in your face, and I like it. <laughs> But now it's rhythm, it's, it's just a different feel, it's a different perspective, I would say. I feel like just that whole drive mentality and that uh, approach to trying to get out there is what's giving us the opportunities to continue diving into what the music industry is, is all about. Something I've always wanted to get into is kind of the live band aspect. And so what I'm hoping that will happen is, whether it be at one of their shows or one of mine or a collaborative show or whatever, but that ultimately I could give them um, I need to drop maybe two or three songs of mine, maybe instrumentals, and maybe they could, you know. I'm back at it like bad habits or crack addicts. No black magic or jackrabbit, no backpacking. It's not conscious, anti-nonsense. Bitch, I'm about to blow no bomb threat content. This is a perfect example of a band growing because if you listen to what we sounded like before and now, I would, you can tell, like if you see, if you've ever were at our first performance, it was, it was, it was alright. But the, our performances now just show exactly what we've always been done. Show you. They're all really fun to play, but um, I guess I would have to say nerves. Who knows what's to come in the future? We have such a long time ahead of us. To this day, like to think that. It's been so long, and we're as tight as we we're still as tight as we were before, if not tighter. Like it makes me feel that that same connection is gonna show and shine through into our music. <laughs> tell them to go with their instincts. I would tell them to follow their heart. I would tell them to be who they were and to say what they feel. <laughs> um, it's, it's as simple as that. I mean, do, do what you feel like you're destined to do. I mean, the universe will conspire to help you. That's, that's the way I see things. And if you keep going at it, there's no reason why you should fail.